Graham Norton reveals Nightmare Hollywood guest who passed out drunk on stage. Chat show legend Graham Norton opened up about his most memorable episodes, including one where a Hollywood superstar fell asleep on the famous sofa in front of his audience after getting too drunk. Graham Norton is the chat show king almost every star in the world wants to meet. But in a new insight into the success of his 26 year old talk show, the Irish funny man has revealed how owes his success to three divas for making his BBC One series a worldwide hit, Cher, Joan Collins, and Dolly Parton. The trio helped put the comic firmly on the TV map by taking a chance to appear on early episodes when Graham kickstarted his career on Channel 4 in the late 1990s. But despite today having the three global stars on speed dial, Graham admits it's his 92-year-old mother Rhoda who is the first to call him and fiercely review his weekly chat show once it airs on a Friday night, living in fear of his Irish mother's no-nonsense opinion. He admits, my mother watches the show every Friday and every Saturday I get her review. There are only two of them. One will go, saw the show last night, I thought it was alright. That is the good review. If it is a bad review, she will say, saw the show last night, how do you think it went? So with parenting like that it is no surprise I seek the validation of strangers. It is as if there is a queue outside her house with people waiting to tell her how s asterisk asterisk t her son's show was. Graham's mother will be waiting by the phone when her son's highly anticipated BAFTA-winning show returns to BBC One on Friday, September 27. And this season's premiere is going to feature an impressive lineup of Hollywood A-listers, including actress Demi Moore, who is making her debut to talk about her role in the critically acclaimed horror movie The Substance. Pop superstar Lady Gaga will also be on the couch to open up about her upcoming role alongside Joaquin Phoenix in the upcoming film Joker, Foil Adieu, and actor Colin Farrell will be on to promote his new Apple TV series The Penguin. Whatever happens on the night, Graham is ready for anything after steering his show through many awkward moments over the years, including the infamous moment when a tipsy Mark Wahlberg once jumped on his lap when he appeared way back in 2013. Revealing secrets from his chat show Green Room, Graham says, It is very hard to get drunk on the show. We do give people a drink, yes. They get one and if there is a break between filming they might nip in and top up your glass and that is it. The most you get is two, maybe three, drinks in a show. If you want to be drunk on the show, and apparently some people do, you really need to arrive pre-liquored up. I remember one time I was outside as Hollywood star Mickey Rourke arrived in his car and he stepped out holding a bottle of Jack Daniels. More worryingly it was half empty. It suddenly became clear where that Jack Daniels had gone. It was a nightmare. But the famous one was Mark Wahlberg, I guess. He was fine when he came on the show. There was not a hint of it and then about 20 minutes into the show it caught up with him. Oh it was bad. At one point Mark was asleep on the couch in front of the audience. Graham let former Calvin Klein underwear model Wahlberg get away with his riotous behavior, admitting he had a secret crush on the actor when he was younger. What made the experience weirder for me was when I was younger I had a copy of Vanity Fair magazine and there was a photo of Mark Wahlberg in it taken by photographer Annie Leibovitz, Gushes Graham. To me this was the most erotic image I had ever seen. Imagine if someone had told the younger me that one day that man would sit on my lap and play with my nipples and I would find it annoying. Thankfully Graham's husband, filmmaker Jonathan McLeod, will be on hand to fight off any handsy A-list admirers this season. The pair tied the knot in a lavish ceremony in Graham's native West Cork in July 2022 with 120 guests in the attendance, including his beloved mother. Guests partied at the four-star Bantry House with singer Lulu reportedly singing at the bash, which also featured drag queen Panty Bliss on the DJ decks. Although Graham, 61, remains guarded about his private life, he admits finding love has helped him slow down, having recently quit his Virgin Radio show in a bid to get his weekends back. Finally achieving a work-life balance, Graham says, the chat show used to be on for a longer run but I lopped it off because I felt like, you know, I am getting older. I just gave up radio too so I have got my weekends back after 13 years, which is a lovely thing. When you are a single man it is fine, but it is hard when you are married to say, 
by the way, I am busy every weekend. So it was a kind thing to do. Today, Graham is able to book more or less get any star he wants to appear on his show. He admits producers still have a wish list, which includes the notoriously private Brad Pitt, some young members of the royal family, as well as the remaining members of the Rolling Stones. But he says he does not take the success of his BBC One chat show for granted after remembering how difficult it was to book guests in the early days when he was a fresh face on the TV circuit. He says, when we started out on Channel 4 it was tough to get people to come on. I remember one time we had Sharon 